Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to begin dipping our toe in the pickle module and the method we're going to look at today is the dump method and this method utilizes or excuse me is used to take a variable save it save it as a file save it to hard drive and be able to save and come back to or probably more realistically send it to somebody else and then they can pick up where you left off and do whatever they need to so all right let's just go ahead and get started but before we get too far uh thanks for joining us joining us if you've not subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because we have videos coming out all the time so if you have not seen our pandas project series I'll go ahead and put that up right now because that's what we're going to be utilizing. Because we have we have uh, some work that we've done with with uh, some names, some baby names, some Hawaii baby names, and we've sorted and pulled out just the male names. And locally, on our system, we have it saved as. Hawaii male names. So when we pull this up, male names, we get this uh, pandas data set. So let's just say that this was a million lines or 50,000 lines or some something that would take forever to run or the person who's gonna be visualizing the this data doesn't care, doesn't want to know this, or it's your boss and they just want to see the end result. So we need to know how to save this as a file to then be able to send it. And this is where the pickle module comes in. So all right, it uses one other uh, feature that it uses is it also uses the um, open function. If you're unaware of what the open function is, I'll go ahead and put that up right here too. So let's just go ahead and get started. File name. This is what the name of the file that you're going to be sending. Okay. And this needs to be a string. Boy names. Now, you could do this as I've seen just P. I've uh, I like pickle because then that really explains PKL. Everybody knows what this is, or you could even do it as a, as a text file and pull it up and see that it's not really readable because we're going to use binary, and I'll show you how and why. So, okay, here's our file object we're creating. We need to use open. Uh, we could use this with um, with the with statement, but we're going to keep this clean and clear right now. So file name now this is we're creating it so we're writing it we're opening this file and we're going to be writing binary okay now you could do this all on one line but i want to break this out and make sure okay all right so now here's here's where the magic happens okay so the object and file so we're keeping this really 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 clean and clear so this right here is what variable you want to put in and then this is your file object so that's so we're gonna do hi mail names then so boom and then of course then we need to file close so let's go over this for just a second let's go ahead and pull this up pk help pkl dot dump so let's just take a peek at it object file write a pickled representation of an object to the open file object so okay 
let's go over this one more time to make sure. So you could literally have put all this right here, but I want you to be able to see the steps. So this is whatever variable, think about that. So your variable and then your file object. That's right there. That's why I wanted to name that. And this is what the actual name of the file is going to be. Boom. So, okay. Let's run this. And then we do a double check. And boom. Here is our brand new pickled file that we can then email or come back to later and pick up our work. So we don't have to rerun, because let's just say it was a huge file and it takes two or three minutes to run and we just don't want to deal with that. So all right, that's the pickle dump method. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments, questions, or any video requests below and I'll get right to them. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.